a video for Genetics Lab Phage Hunters demonstrating how to uh, use syringe filters to sterilize, well, anything, but uh, in particular your soil samples for testing them at the very beginning of your phage hunting experiments. So remember, like always, we need to work aseptically, so we're going to need to have a flame going. All right, so what we have here is some um, SM. Make sure you have nice, clean SM. You should have sterilized, of course, disinfected your area before you worked. We have some filters. We have some syringes. We have the samples that we're going to work with. Now, I only have one sample here prepared, and I have something I'm going to demo, and I have a plate for doing an infection in a tube that I've already labeled ready to go. I've labeled it... Uh, a for sample A and 10 to the 0 because uh, we're not going to dilute it. But you want to have everything ready to go. Um, remember, what you want to do is you want to take your soil samples for direct plating and you're going to cover them. You're going to add uh, SM buffer until it just covers the sample. You're going to take it and vortex it. You may have to be a little rough with them to make sure that all of the sample gets wet and then you're gonna let them sit for 20 minutes um, because right now you you couldn't pipette this uh, or push this through a filter without destroying the filter so you're gonna let it sit and what will happen is eventually you'll get a, a layer of the wash, okay, the buffer that washed this soil, that's hopefully got some phage in it, and that's what we're going to test. But we need to get any bacteria and fungus and dirt and all that out of that, and that's what we're going to use these filters to filter sterilize it for. And so, if you haven't used a filter sterilization uh, system before, I'm going to show you how to do it now. In fact, it's, it's very easy, and you probably have done something very similar before in chemistry when you used Wattman paper to filter things. The only difference is that these filters come in a little plastic housing. It's the same kind of filter, though. There's different kinds of material, but it's the same general idea. It's a filter held in a plastic housing that's been sterilized so that when we put things in one side, when it comes out the other side, it'll be sterilized. Now these come in two different sizes, either 0.22 or 0.45 micron that we use. Both of those are small, small enough holes that phage can get through, but bacteria can't. So anything that we push through here will be sterile and uh, will give us hopefully pure lysates. And so I'll demonstrate that here and show you how you can use these filters. Now when you're doing this, what you want to do is you want to open one of these filters grasp the sides of the disc and just peel this off and then leave it in the container because you don't want to touch it, right? You don't, definitely not this side, okay? And then just kind of place it down out of the way. And then here's a, a two mil and a three mil syringe. We'll also sometimes have larger syringes, but these will be what you'll using, be using most of the time. Now these are sterile as well. Okay, so I'm not going to pull this all the way. I'm going to leave this open so we have, I have somewhere to put this. When you first uh, pull this out, it still has the plunger in it. Um, what you don't want to do is attach it to the uh, filter right away and then yank out the plunger because that will put uh, uh, negative pressure on the filter and it will rip a hole on the filter. Never have this attached to the filter and then pull out the plunger. Whenever you're going to attach it to the filter, make sure you take the plunger out first. You can always put it in the paper if you don't want to touch it, okay? All right, but for now I'm going to show you one way that we can load these syringes. There's going to be two ways that we can do it, uh, and I'll also demonstrate how well they work. So here we have a small one mil syringe and a, and a, a sample of BT. And you can tell that it's, beat, uh, that it's got a lot of bacteria in it because it's really cloudy, right? The media is yellow, but it's normally uh, clear, right? You can see right through it, and here you can't. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the cap off, and I'm just going to put this right in here. It fits, and I'm just going to draw up one mil of 
uh, culture. And so if your sample is very clear, very clean, and there's no crud on top, you can pull out this liquid just by dipping a one mil or a three mil syringe in and just drawing up a mil. You can do that. And then what you do is you take the filter that you opened up and this just screws on. Okay? And then what you'll do is you'll take a microcentrifuge tube, but since this isn't our phage, I'm just going to push this into another clear tube because I want you to see it. Now remember it was very cloudy, right? Well, I'm going to push this into here and you can see, hopefully, why don't I do another mill real quick. If you ever need to do this more than once, you can always take the filter off. Remember, always take the filter off before you pull out any plungers, right? Why don't I take another mill? There we go. You're never going to get the full volume back. You're always going to lose a little bit sticking to the filters. Don't be surprised. All right. Push that through. Oh, off the film. Push that through. All right. Let's see how well the filtration works. Ooh, look at that. Crystal clear. All the bacteria stuck by the filter. Here, no bacteria. That's what filtration does. Stopped all the bacteria, and what we have is pure sterile media. That's what we're gonna use this for. All right, so this one is done. This is trash. Okay, so we're gonna use a new filter, and I'm gonna show you a different way of loading it. Sometimes your samples are just gonna be covered in crud. There's gonna be some floating on top. So here's a bigger syringe, and what we'll do is we'll take it, another filter, get that opened, and then set it aside. We'll take the syringe, pull out the plunger, and then put it back in here, keep that clean, and attach the barrel. Now you can do this with a one mil or a three mil, I'm just showing you both. And then we'll just take a pipette. And so here's our sample, and you can see there's some crud on top, and we probably could have pushed the syringe through this, but let's just be safe. Don't flame these. They're plastic. Anyways, we're about to filter sterilize it anyways. And we'll pipette up a mil or so of this. We don't really even need a whole mil. We only need 50 microliters, and you can just pipette it right into the syringe barrel. It's not going to go through because the filter will stop it from flowing through as long as you screwed it on. You'll take the tube, pop that open, and then this just sits over top of it. Take your plunger, and when you push it through, instead of that dark brown yucky looking sample that we had. Now what we have is crystal clear again, but hopefully filled with phage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take 50 microliters of this and I'm going to add it to a half mil culture of BTK, let it sit for 5 to 20 minutes maximum, just like we did on that first day, add some top auger, put it on this plate, and if we get plaques, we're off to the races. That is a direct, that's the way you test your direct sample. Remember, that's what you're going to do to six of your samples. Before you do that, take one gram out of one of your samples, whichever one you want, and that's going to be used for your enrichment. And that's it. That's what you're doing. Have fun and find phages.